Yep. Hi, it's Tuesday. It's 6.01. It is 85 degrees. Is it really? Wow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and maybe the rest of the week. I didn't know it was going to get this hot today. I wonder if I closed the windows. I didn't think I did. It's been really nice. Actually, it's really nice right now. I should go outside. I'm going to do that after I do this. Look, I bought a new shirt. It's an OP. It's like it's the 80s all over again. And my shirt's way too long. Looks good, though. And it's yellow. Let's see where my wife is now. On her fourth stop. She's bar hopping. I'm so jealous. I wish I were bar hopping in New York. I hope she's accompanied by an adult. Things I have to worry about. Here's to you. Mm. I forgot to mention this yesterday. As I look at this, oh, that's a pretty bar. Figure out where that is later. I don't know where any of these places are. Just tromping around Manhattan. Why not? Meanwhile, I got big plans. I found a giant can of store brand beefaroni. Or not beefaroni, ravioli. But it's like that ravioli with like that liquid beef center. Man, that is something else. I found it last night and it was too late to eat. So I decided I was going to eat it today. I've been looking forward to it all day. But first, a snack. Because I have two bags of chips, which have the same expiration date on them, I'm going to flip a coin. Heads one, so we're going to have ketchup. Not very exciting. In fact, this ketchup... French for ketchup because I only see one language in that on that flavor. Ah, simulated flavor. That's right. Savour simulé. Wow, overpowering ketchup smell. <laughs> oh wow, zesty. This should be pretty good, right? They're, they're kind of a, a winey color, though. That's weird. Well, that's a pretty good simulation of ketchup. Although it lingers. It lingers for a while. It's not very ketchupy. I'm not sure what it is though. It's not like a chili sauce or a cocktail sauce or some other tomato based sauce. Is there tomato flavor in this? Yep. Dehydrated vegetable powder. Tomato, garlic, onion. I do, do taste the onion. Yeah, I would not buy these. I will eat them now, though, because I'm starving. Mm. You know what they taste like? My mouth wants it to be vinegar and salt, so it's trying to make it vinegar and salt. But it's sweeter than that. So my mouth goes, sweetness, I, I don't know what to do. So it's my mouth's fault of generating these expectations that the chip cannot match because they're not vinegar and salt chips, they're ketchup chips. Isn't that interesting? So over the weekend, the GOP of Minnesota held their state convention to elect at-large delegates to the national convention 
elect a some executive committee folk and whatnot. Planks in the platform, blah 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 blah. Bottom line, the Rompal delegates swept, taking twelve of the thirteen spots. They were leading for the thirteenth spot. Another picture. Kim has taken so many pictures. If you've been following Kim on Twitter and noticed that she hadn't done anything for months, you're probably just as shocked as I am to see dozens of Instagrams every day. Rob Paul had a guy in the 13th slot, but you have to get, you have to get like 50% plus one to be elected, so they were going to go to a second ballot. But out of the graciousness of his heart, he stepped aside and allowed the 14th place candidate to be selected as a national delegate. Which is the funny part, because that 14th place candidate was Representative Michelle Bachman. Ha ha ha. So she's going to go represent at the Republican National Convention, but she's going to be surrounded by 80 to 90% Ron Paul people. We'll see if she can be churned. Why not? If you're going to be crazy, you might as well be crazy with uh, the rest of the crazies instead of your own brand of crazy, which she is known for. That's your political update of the day. Otto was probably very excited. I was probably wishing I would talk about wrestling. I'm trying to remember. Did a single thing happen last night that was interesting? They got further and further removed from Brock Lesnar. There wasn't even a Paul Heyman sighting. There was a special video look back at Paul Heyman. So you're even further removed from that. So at this point, Brock Lesnar is just kind of... I don't know. I mean, we'll see if the next time he comes out, if there's any kind of buzz on him, but I think that the ship may have already sailed. Well done, WWE. The new, X, new NXT starts tomorrow. I want to try to actually watch it as it airs, although I've never had much luck doing their real-time stuff, whether it's the YouTube channel or their own streaming site. But I kind of think that because no one will be watching it, well, there will probably be a smattering of curious people who want to see what the new show looks like, which is, you know, I'm one of those people, so sure. But what is more likely to happen is I will forget. Actually, and because it is in the middle of my work day, I really shouldn't be watching streaming video from my work computer anyway, right? Someone might notice. No one's going to notice. I'm trying to do work, and there's always that one guy the one guy who's holding everything up and he waits four hours until he emails you back and instead of giving you an answer he asks another question which means there's going to be another round of emails and it's just like I know you don't care but I would really like to get this thing done and off my plate so I can worry about something else man I'd like to say hi to all my coworkers who may be watching you won't know who I'm talking about thank goodness But let's get feedback on yesterday's roast chicken lays there they are. Has says, Roast chicken chips have become more regular in the stores nowadays. Never quite understood how, as no one that I know really likes them. That's Canadian, isn't it? Nobody likes them, but you'll buy them anyway. Just so you can talk about how you don't like them. Uh, about the all-dressed flavor, that is a flavor to come. Very popular here for sure. Again, I'm not really sure I can put my finger on what the actual flavor is. As James says, I think they're all... They're just all chip flavors combined. We have a really good local uh, variety. I want to say it's an old Dutch offshoot, but it's called Loaded Spud, and it is an everything chip. And it is overly spiced. It's, it's too much. I bought them, and I stopped buying them because they were too much. But I may buy them and bring them in just so I can show them to you. Because... All junk food all the time should be our new format. I agree. Has enjoyed seeing me snack Canadian, so has this chip is for you. Man, it looks like has made uh, Danis with his own report about Canadian junk food, which is good. We can see uh, if his tastes are anywhere close to mine. 
Oh yeah, the Lakers aren't playing anymore. Ha! Ah, thanks, Thunder. Who's gonna win in the in the West? Spurs or Thunder? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm gonna hedge by taking the bio chips. Hmm. Is there vinegar in these? I wouldn't be surprised if it said, oh, lactose and acetic acid. Vinegar like. Because I feel that thing on my tongue. <sighs> I can't pick against the Spurs. They're just too good. And they're so good that they're quietly good, and people don't realize how good they are. But they got a lot of time to rest up. And I just I don't think the Thunder are going to bring it. They're going to try, but I don't think this is a, I don't think they're going to be able to climb that mountain. I'd love to be proven wrong, but got to be the Spurs, yeah, yeah. Greg, thank you for your kind remarks. I'm over time, so we'll uh, pick this up tomorrow with the loser of the coin toss. That will be, if you've been watching and paying attention, you already know which flavor of lace it's going to be, and it'll be a good one. Good night.